Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning coding at version 3 HMVC tutorial for beginners. This is our part 13. Inside this video session guys, we will see about built-in as well as custom libraries in modules. Now before starting this video session guys, I strongly suggest that if you haven't watched our coding editor playlist, just go through that and watch the videos of libraries and the helpers where we had discussed about the built-in libraries and built-in helpers in great detail. Because inside this video, we are just going to take a little bit concept about using or making custom libraries in modules. So if I open a new tab. Let's say that built in library in Code Igniter. So, so far in our Code Igniter playlist, we have seen about file upload, form validation, we have seen about migration. we had seen about session and many more. So these are the built-in libraries basically we have used in our code igniter playlist as well as inside this playlist means HMVC tutorial we have used about called migration as well as form validation. Now this is the library as we can see that in our existing videos we had seen about these. So inside this playlist so far we have seen about form validation and in the last video we had seen about something called migration here. So far we had seen about two libraries. So I strongly suggest you to go through our code editor playlist and watch all the built-in libraries how can we use in our controllers views and in the code igniter application. Now inside this video, I am to make a custom library in our module and see that how can we use to get the output with some modifications. So back to editor. Now inside this application folder, let's say that this is code letter HMVC, this is our project folder. Inside this project folder, we have our application folder. Now inside this application folder, also we have, as we can see that we have libraries folder. Now inside code generator playlist, we had used about this libraries folder to make our custom libraries. Now inside this video, if we are talking about modules, so how can we define those? So to define our custom libraries, we have to create a folder inside each of the module name with libraries. So go here. Now inside this sign up module, let's say that I'm going to create a libraries folder. So this should be let's say libraries and pressing enter. Now inside this sign up module, now we have a libraries folder. If we want to create a custom library, so we need to create that file inside this folder. So let's say that I'm going to create and simply let's say my library.php. Now inside this file, we need to define the library class file. So let's say class, simply a class declaration. So class, my library, that's it. Now inside this class, we need to define our own methods. Those methods are basically known as this library functions. And we can use those functions by loading this library in anywhere of the controller. So let's say that I'm going to create a method and that method basically converts letters into camel case or let's say capital. So for example, let's say that I have a word something called online web tutor and the output of this function is something like this online web tutor. It means that the first letter of each word should be converted into capital letter. So let's say that function convert words. This is the function name means method name. Inside this we are going to pass the string value and here 
we have to return by using call something juicy words this is our php function now inside this function i am to pass this string value this string value should be automatically converted in this output by using this function all we have done now so if we save this file back to our sign up controller now before using that firstly we need to load our library so here already we had loaded two built-in libraries so inside this array i'm to define our own custom library so it should be something my library now after loading my library now we are ready to use our library methods so if i scroll down and let's say that public function let's say convert all is a simple a string function inside this let's say that we have a string value and inside this I'm to pass my name and here I'm to use the method of our library so this my library and inside this my library we have a method called convert words so using that and inside this I am to pass our string value and let's say that simply I am to print that so back to our routes file let's say that route sign up and let's say my words and this will call our sign up module and inside the sign up module we have the function called string underscore fn so if we save all these changes copy this route name back to browser open a new tab and let's say that this is our route name if i press enter now as we can see that each letter of the word is converted now into a capital letter here in the second tab we have a listing inside this listing basically we are getting all the users data what we have we have saved in our previous video now let's say that by using our for each loop I am to print all these outputs into a proper format and by using our custom library I am to convert the designation into our UC word section so back to editor go to controller now this is the function that we had created so if I make comment of these lines and let's say that if count result is greater than 0 it means we have some data so inside for each loop let's result as let's index and let's each user data now inside this let's say firstly I am to take the name so this should be something called user and if we see about the output this is an object it means array of object so to actually retrieve any data from this object we are going to use called the arrow operator so back to editor let's say that user and the name key if I back to browser now as we can see that this is our name key now we are going to fetch about the email address phone number and the designation so back to editor so this is all about our email this is email phone number phone number and finally let's say designation so if I print ego let's ego something inside this h4 tag and let's name equal to here I am to simply print name email let's email equal to here I am to use called the email variable and next we have something called our phone number so it should be phone here I am to use called the phone and lastly we have called the designation so it should be designation only we have to convert into capital 
colon symbol and now this is all about our designation so if we save all these changes back to browser open a new tab now as we can see that we have name equal to Sanjay this is our email address phone number and the designation now inside this designation column we can see that each word contains all the letters into lowercase now we are going to convert with the help of our custom library method so back to editor let's say that as we know that we have a library and something this my library and inside this we have a method called our something the method we have called convert words so this should be something convert words now inside this I am to pass our designation back to browser reload this page now as we can see that web designer is now converted each first letter should be in capital letter back to editor now let's say that one more method I am to create inside this library and that method basically gives us the total length of the string value so function let's say my length inside this I am to pass the string value and it will basically return let's return strlen this is a PHP function which basically gives us about the string of the length or length of the string so simply string value here go to sign up module and let's say that if you want to see about the total length so here this is total length and I'm going to specify about the name field so let's define a variable for that so here name underscore length and I'm going to use this my library and my underscore length this is the method actually we had defined inside this library and inside this and to pass the name here it will automatically calculate the length and returns inside this variable and I am to print that so let's say here and this is the variable so if we save all these changes back to browser reload this page now total length is 6 and total length is 6 how it has calculated by counting each letter from this word so basically guys by the help of this video session actually we understood about that how can we create custom libraries in our modules simply we need to define libraries folder inside respective our modules and while defining any libraries we can access those methods inside this module also we had seen in our previous video that how can we load our modules into another module after loading that actually we can access this library's methods or this is library we can access in any anywhere of the module so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day